And we will enter that guy can reach our zone. Green flag is out, two laps to go. Good getaway down on the low side here for Ellison. He caught Peterson sleeping a little bit, unless there's a little bit of tactics here. We saw these three hook up earlier on in the race. They're all going to move down to the low side here as they come through one. The fuel is very, very tight with these top three. We still don't know if we're going to make it. You know what? Fuel mileage plus overtime? I'm all for it. Let's have a race here coming down the back straight away. And here comes the rest of the pack. It looks like the that's the 200 there. And uh, Williamson and Cook moving out in line. Here they come on the high side. Charging up to the front. They're going to look to launch this one in and around the top side. Tommy Cook going to try to push Matt Williamson to the point, but they're going to falter on the top lane. They just got to make the white flag. This race is official. Put it right back down to the bottom. Ellison back to the lead. Ellison back to the lead here at this point. He's going to get that little bit of a shove here as they go. And now they're going to have to see if that top lane can work it again. The 53 of Zeidel almost playing a little bit of a blocker here. Paul Ellison continues to make something happen. We're crashing in the background. Mike Pepper's been spun around, and he's going to be uh, brought to a stop. Charles Richardson down and into the grass. So two cars have been destroyed. Fred Thompson down in that as well. We'll look at that in a moment. But for now, Paul Ellison looking to launch down to turn numbers three and four. These guys have got to give it everything, and now there's no more team battles. It's every man for himself. Luke Peterson looking high, looking low. Ellison blocks at the top. Peterson with the charge out of turn number four. Going down on a drag race to the line. Who does the victory have? And a photo finish, I think, Ellison by about a bumper. Three thousandths of a second the gap there. Zidal holds on to P3, but what a finish for the 55. Hell of a drive there to close out racing action from the Daytona International Speedway. This is what happened to Mike Pepper, Fred Thompson, and more. They were four wide across the start finish line, and it fell apart for the back half of the field coming down in towards uh, turn, uh, turn number one. And oh, that's a hard hit for the six into the inside wall. Yeah, that's a very big hit there for them, and they're going to have some pretty substantial damage, as you can imagine. Then Paul Ellison with this drive coming out of turn number four. The 53 with that big bump entering the trioval. That was what made the difference as that pushed the 55 forward. And there's your margin of victory as they cross the line. Absolutely remarkable. A 200-mile race coming down to that.